Hi everyone, in this video you are going to learn about high K dielectric constant, high K dielectric material that has to be used in place of a silicon dioxide. So what is the use of this high K dielectric and why we are going for this high K dielectric material though we have a silicon dioxide between uh, we can say polysilicon and the substrate. If you take the mass transistor structure, we know the structure of mass transistor. See, all the topics are related to this structure of the mass transistor only. This is the source region and this is the drain region. In between these two, we are having a gate material which is made up of polysilicon and it is the oxide layer. Okay, in between these two, channel is established. Now, in the previous videos, I have explained about the charge channel effects. When we are going for the more number of technology uh, scaling improvements, then length of the channel decreases, results the short channel effects. So, because of these short channel effects, hot electrons are generated, velocity of the electrons are generated, and then these hot electrons then hot electrons are entering into the hot electrons are entering into this oxide layer and oxide becomes conductor this is silicon dioxide layer becomes conductor now we need to avoid this problem okay this is due to the hot electrons we need to avoid this problem that's why we are uh, using a high dielectric material high dielectric material instead of a simple silicon dioxide layer I I hope you understand what I am talking about. Okay, so high K, high K dielectric refers to a material, refers to a material with a high dielectric constant, with a high dielectric constant k is nothing but kappa k is nothing but kappa as compared to the silicon dioxide as compared to the silicon dioxide because silicon dioxide is the general material we have used so far It is used in semiconductor semiconductor manufacturing process manufacturing pro processes where they are where they are usually used to replace a silicon dioxide gate dielectric gate dielectric or another dielectric layer of a device or another dielectric layer of a device mass device so a metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor a mosfet see here i will explain gate is the material where we are having at the gate terminal of the mass transistor and below which we are having silicon substrate and in between these two we are having a silicon dioxide with 1.2 nanometers let us consider Okay, suppose if you are taking a 90 nanometer technology, this is the 1.2 nanometer size with a silicon dioxide material that is exhibited, existed between gate and silicon substrate. And now this is much enlarged with a different type of dielectric material with a dielectric high K dielectric constant with 3 nanometers for the same technology with 3 nanometers which is known as a potential high K process, a potential high K process, which is established again between gate and silicon substrate. 
okay see what happens the thickness of the material is much more increased almost more than the double okay it is 1.2 nanometers and now it is 3 nanometers if you see the capacitance and leakage currents of these particular uh, dielectric material capacitance existed if it is one time in this uh, silicon dioxide and leakage current is one time then if you compare this with the ik process the capacitance is increased by 1.6 times the normal conventional process and even the leakage current also reduces by an amount of 0.01 see 0.01 times than that of the conventional method that means the leakage current is reduced by 100 times okay so this is the advantage of using high k dielectric material a metal oxide semiconductor a mos fat metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistors have decreased in size have decreased in size the thickness of the silicon dioxide gate the thickness of silicon dioxide gate electric gate dielectric has steadily decreased has steadily decreased to increase decreased to increase the gate capacitance the gate capacitance per unit area i will tell how it is happening gate capacitance per unit area and thereby drive current rising device performance and thereby drive current per device width device width rising device performance rising device performance so if you see this ik dielectric material with 3 nanometer thickness what happens initially normally there some capacitance action is exhibited at the gate because it is a semiconducting gate is a polysilicon layer which is a conducting layer silicon substrate is a conducting layer separated by a dielectric material so some type of capacitance is ex exhibited here we can say that capacitance has gate capacitance cg now that gate capacitance value cg is extended by a factor like a 3 nanometers we can say which is equal to how generally we calculate the capacitance cg is gate capacitance c is equal to epsilon a by d epsilon a by d area of the plates area of the plates now increased and the capacitance of this particular material may be increased okay so steadily decreased to increase the gate capacitance which is nothing but per unit area that increases the performance of the device so as the thickness scales down as the thickness scales down below 2 nanometer leakage currents due to leakage current due to tunneling increase drastically increase drastically leading to high power consumption leading to high power consumption and reduce device reliability and reduces the device reliability
okay so thickness should not be scaled down beyond 2 nanometers we have taken 3 nanometers actually so because if you want to reduce the thickness these are the different problems the tunneling increases and leading high power consumption power consumption will be more and reduces the reliability of the original nature of the material so replacing silicon dioxide replacing silicon dioxide gate dielectric gate dielectric with a high k dielectric material allows increased gate capacitance increased gate capacitance without the associated leakages without associated leakage effects okay so these are the advantages of high k dielectric material over silicon dioxide which is a conventional material between gate and silicon substrate okay thank you